This call contains singing. When this face appears, you have been warned. Hi. Yellow. Yellow. Pink. I can barely hear you. Boo. Boo. And bear. What you been doing? Sorry, TV's probably a little loud. <coughs> what you been doing? Not much. Been pretty quiet around here lately. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine it has been. People are trying to get back to being themselves, huh? John Michael Jr. isn't here anymore. He's been gone since we came back. Oh, really? How come he hasn't come back? Don't know. Haven't asked MJ. Oh. Well, no. might be a good idea not to. might get offended by it. How are you doing? Fine, I guess. Good. That's good. I love you, Jamie. You're a special woman. Will and his girlfriend's gonna be all right. You get dog. You get dog there. That's Will. Oh, that's Will. Sound like a real dog. What the hell's he barking for? Was he barking or coughing? Don't insult Will. Excuse me. How did I insult him? And why would you say that? You just said he was barking. Yeah. So? I wonder why he was barking. It sounded like a dog barking.
Why are you getting defensive to Will? I'm not. Well, you either did. You said, don't insult Will. I weren't insulting him. I thought he was actually making a dog barking noise. You don't insult him. I said... I thought it sounded like he was making an actual barking dog noise, like intentionally. Please stop insulting him. Yeah, whatever, Jamie. Jesus, make no no sense. That seriously didn't make sense. I'm okay, Sherlock. Right. I make barking noises to a dog sometimes. Going to catch the night stalker next? What? Is someone went right over my head. You couldn't catch it. Too slow. Yeah, I guess so. I make dog barking noises to the dog sometimes. I bark, just bark at them just to get them going. That's weird. No, it was just playing with them. I bark it to get them going. Do it right now. I don't know if they'll do it right now or not. They're both sleeping. Sadie. Burf. Doofy. Doofy want to do it anyway. Sadie. Why do it? Why do it? You have never done that before. <laughs> you don't on the phone with me all the time. You don't know what I do. I play with the dogs. I play with Roscoe during the day. I'll get rough with him a little bit. And Sadie, I'll play around with her at nighttime, too. I'll be sitting up watching TV, and she'll come over and start <coughs> looking at me and want me to run my hand over her face. And so I'll, so I'll run my hand over her face, and she'll start opening her mouth, and she'll start making a little noise like, ah. So I'll, I'll make noises back to her, and she does it even more, and then she snorts a little bit. And so I'll run my hand over her face again. It's pretty cute, really. Do they ever try to bite your dink off? No. They don't get close to my dink. Are you going to try to bite my dink off? What? I said, are you going to try to bite my dink off? No comment. <laughs> oh, I <why> not? <laughs> Are you not wanting to get close to my date now? What a weird topic. 
<laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I can be such a smart ass. <clears throat> so, how did the rest of your day go? Fine, I guess. What'd you do? Talked with Will. Watch oh. the Night Stalker. No. No, oh, that's where you got the Sherlock things from. Then you said. Yes, Sherlock solved the case. Well, good. <clears throat> Do you hate the silence between us? What? Do you hate the silence between us? What does that even mean? The, the silence between us. The silence where... We both of us are unsure of things to say. I can't even speak. Why can't you? You're the robot right there. What's wrong? I can't even speak. Don't... I mean, with a robot. Don't hang up on him when he's crying. Don't, don't. I don't understand why you can, why that, why you said that. Because I can't even speak. Well, not yet, but doesn't it doesn't mean that's going to last forever. You don't, you. Just gotta be patient with it. You got the robot, so you're speaking. It's not gonna last forever like that. I want waffles. Well, me too. Let's go to Waffle House. I'll come pick you up. I'll come pick you up and we'll go to Waffle House. How's that sound? Or Denny's. You can go to Denny's and get some pancakes. Get a Grand Slam. That used to be one of my favorite places to go was Denny's. I was in Washington State. I want to grand slam the side of your head. No, well, come here. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you, as long as the bat that you use is going to be your, as long as the bat that you use is going to be your tits, then you can grand slam me all you want. Hey, hey. <laughs> You're so funny. They didn't get my phone and internet hooked. 
Sorry, go I ahead. I already have a bat. What's your bat? It's Wilder. Yeah, I, I thought Maggie Jo cut them up. She cut one euro. Huh? She cut one up. The one with the balls. No. Well, you're not going to use that for a bat on me. Why? Because that'll be in the grinder if you bring it here. Get Lamandre here. You don't want Lamandre getting upset, do you? Tell me about your number. Oh, they never came to hook up my phone and my internet connection. Why? I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why she's supposed to call me at 8.30 in the morning. And at that time, I'm going to be almost down to Bangor. So I could be in Bangor at 9 o'clock to get my computer, and then I got to rush back here because I have my class at 10 o'clock to 11.30. But... Uh, I didn't even know what my account number was or my phone number or nothing. So they had a hard time finding me, my order, my work order. So they finally found it. <clears throat> so I got my number. She gave me my number. She gave me my account number and my phone number. Said that they'll figure everything out in the morning. And I told them, I said, well, they can't, they can't come to hook it up until noontime. Or after, because my morning's all booked up. What's the company name? Well, the company I'm going through? For the phone? Is that the company you mean? No, the company sending you to space. Oh, well, that's SpaceX. <laughs> oh, you weren't serious, huh? What? That's the name of the company. Oh, excuse me. I was going to call you what from the business phone. Is it? I don't know. I don't I have no idea yet. I, I don't even know what you mean by what kind of internet is it. It's been like five years since don't I've had the internet. Don't you think something you should know? I, well, I will know tomorrow. I, mean, I know it's supposed to be pretty pretty fast, I guess. But I, didn't, I know it's Wi-Fi. But until I get the information from them tomorrow, then I won't know. Speeds. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't remember what they said, and I didn't write it down. I think it's supposed to be pretty fast speed, though. Right, why keep important information? Well, can't keep it if I haven't got it yet. Who needs it? I can't keep it if I haven't got it yet. <laughs> I'll get it tomorrow. So what did Spacey say about your restrictions? No, she didn't say anything. I haven't had the chance to talk to her other than uh, to meet her down there tomorrow at 9 o'clock. You saw my... her today? No, I didn't see her today. She wasn't there. I went up to the office and there was a note on the door to, because nobody's working in the offices. 
And I thought there was. I thought Stacy was going to be there because she told me to go there Monday. There was a note on the door, and the door was locked. And note on the door for anybody on probation to call their probation officers, and if, unless they had scheduled the appointment and stuff like that. I, I thought I had scheduled appointments for that day. But Stacy weren't there, so I went out, back out to the truck and I called her. Left her a message letting her know that I was at, at the probation office right now so I'm on the parking lot and waiting for her. And I had to get her even get back because they were going to hook up the phone and the internet. And she heard my, heard my voicemail and she called me right back. She told me that, that she had to uh, coordinate things with whoever it was to get the key and and she said it would be later on in the week but then I called her back so I was, I was thinking well I called the rent center to see how much their computers were so I was thinking where well, mine's got a, all that YouTube stuff on it then I could just think and maybe it would be a better idea if I just get a new computer so I called them to see what prices were on their computers there and for they'd have to pay weekly and stuff like that and and I called Stacy back and asked her if she thought that would be a better idea. And she, and she said, no. She said, I, I just got out of, out of the probation office and I've got your computer. So if you want to meet me uh, tomorrow morning, then, then you can get your computer and sign the paperwork. So I can I can ask her restrictions tomorrow. <laughs> but that's why I have to be there at 9 o'clock because... I have to hurry up and get back here for class at 10 to 11.30. Now, lady from Consolidated is going to call me at 8.30. How is it that they are handing you a computer tomorrow and haven't told you what restrictions you have? That makes no sense. She'll have the paper right there with the restrictions on it. So I, she'll, read, she'll read it over to me and I'll have to sign it. And... Do you get a copy? I do. Well, that's good. You'd forget. That's right. When you say yes to us being a couple again, I'll show you the copy. And when you talk to Stacy, I'll call the doctor with you on the phone and get Chantix. I wasn't asking to see it. I was making sure you get a copy because you get nothing in writing. <laughs> I know. I know how I am. Also, when you say there were a couple again, you talk to Stacy. I'll hammer down on this house so that when you come up, it'll be then posted down inside. Do whatever you want, bro. All gravy over here. Why? Because you don't want to be a couple with me? And you don't want to talk to Stacy? So when is business going to roll in? When I get it going. 
I'm not gonna rush it like I didn't. I'm not gonna rush it like I did in the last one. I'm gonna go into it slow so that I can do it right. Oh, how many people have pulled from your business cards? None. That I know of. I gotta change the business cards too. I'm gonna change the number on the business card, so oh, I'm not gonna hand out any more. Well, it's not it's not promising right now because I don't have that many cards out. I've only got like maybe a hundred cards out. Which is good because I'm not going to use these other cards. I'm going to get new, all new cards made up with the business phone number on it. Why did you make them if you were changing numbers? Well, because I wasn't going to until I thought about more and more. And it's like, I really don't want them calling my, my cell phone number because then it would then it would just become a pain in the ass. So I figure if I if I make it so they come the business phone at the house, then they can leave a message and I can check the messages. Do you have any of the old cards left? I do. What are you doing with them? Right now, nothing. I'm, I might use them down the road. I don't know yet. So I, I might still hand them, hand them out, but I'm, I'm not sure. Chances are, is, uh, is I might because it, they could be, they could be more business, even if, even though they might call my cell phone. Who's making your website? I don't know yet. I was going to have my sister do it, but she, because she does web design, but I don't know yet. Are you putting your name on the website? No, not my name. Your business name. And not my cell number, just just the business number. So you have all the equipment you need already? Nope. Still buying equipment too. That's why I'm not rushing into it. Before I <clears throat> when I started my business before, the only thing I had was a probing bar, a hook, and a spade. And I worked my way up from that. So then you this have time, pretty much nothing in new business. Oh, I've got plenty of tools that I need. What do you have already? I've, I've pretty much got everything already. The only thing I don't have is an electric snake that I want to get. I mean, there, there's other tools that I want to get too, like a jetter, a camera. I've got all kinds of tools. I'm not lacking in tools, so I've got tools to do jobs. Just there's other tools that I want to get. I want to get an electric snake. I want to get a camera. I want to get a jetter. Those are the more expensive tools. So what do you have? Not what do you want? Um, I've got everything I need to do the jobs. I've got saws all. I've got a. Uh, Oh crap! What the hell's it called now? I feel like I get two more, two more of them. I've got the most expensive one right now. You put it down, down the pipe. It's if you have a clog in the pipe, you put it down the pipe, and you hook it up to a hose, put it down the pipe, and you turn the water on, and you let that fill up, and it expands to the to the length of the pipe. And once it's at the length of the at, at the width of the pipe, it, it'll shoot water out, and it'll unblock a 
a blockage in the pipe. I've got the biggest one already, the most expensive one. I gotta get the other Do two. Do you think people are going to hire you when they have no idea who is doing the work if your name isn't on the site? I'm not putting my name on the site. I don't. I don't have to put my name on the site. Putting the business name on the site is what I need to do, not my personal name. Has Ron I've never called you that. back yet? No, he hasn't. Oh, That's why that. I'm. Yeah, imagine that. That's why I'm concentrating more on the business now. Why isn't he calling but, you? Well, he must not want me back. Otherwise, he'd be calling me. He knows that I want to go back to work for him, but it's not calling, so, so I can't I keep fucking around with him. He did. But he did. He told me I could go back. Well, after I got out of out of prison, he told me back out of prison this last time, he told me that I could go back to work for him. He was supposed to get me back in there and because Alex blocked that, well, I don't know what's going on now, but Ron still hasn't called me. So I talked to mom about it today and told her I can't keep fucking waiting for him. So I'm doing whatever I can to get business going and Did you get call the house lady that texted you? The lady that texted me. But no. No, that was that was Brandy. It's the same thing. It's R C Moore. Brandy. And, uh, the only thing yeah, the only thing that she told me was was to fill out an application, which I already did. Oh your ex. No, not my ex. Her name was Brandy, it wasn't my ex. Just her name was Brandy, and she works at Arsenal. Moore. I've never met her. Well, you had two exes named Brandy. No, I didn't. I only had one ex named Brandy. I don't know where you got that. I had two exes named Brandy. I'm going to be going over and to the tear, tear down house as much as I can to get what it going down. Uh, I've got my name in in other places. I'm, not, I'm still putting my name in in other places still. But there's just nothing I can do right now. So all I can do is just put my name in. Can't do anything if they don't call me. So while I'm waiting, I, I'm going to be going over to tear down house more and try to get it torn down. Get it torn down by the end of April, so I guess start concentrating on that more now that I get the truck back on the road. Elton wants some two by fours from it. Calvin decided he wants some more stuff from it. Are you sad that you will have to you have to apply for jobs on your own now? No. No, no. Why would I be sad? Just asking. No. No, I'm not. I'll be able to look around a lot easier. I'll be able to sell some of the crap that I got here. Surprised that Paul sold that dresser for me. Told his, told his neighbor about it. His neighbor said that he wanted it. Paul showed him a picture of it, and the guy said he wanted it. 
So now maybe I can tell the rest, the other stuff. Okay. Jamie, you want to you want to give it another chance, a real chance. Anyway, Jamie. Anyway, Jamie. Do you want to give it a real chance? You're just trying to start a fight again. I'm not trying to start any fight. I'm telling you I'm in love with you and I want us to have a real chance. You've had real chances and you blew it. I'm not going to blow this. Right. I tried to get us back together before. You kept saying no. You no, know why you didn't think I was serious then? I never wanted to break up with you. I was so much looking forward to our future together. I guarantee we can make it. No, you can't. I can on my end. How about you? No, you can't. Yeah, I can. On my end, I can. Oh, with all your broken promises? I'm not going to be broken promises anymore. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. You Most important from single time. The most important promise that I that I made to you, I have never broke. What? That I love you. You have. No, because I never stopped loving you. You said you did. No, I did not. So then I've you never stopped. I've never said that. I have never yes, told you, you that I don't love you. No, I did not. When did I say that? Oh, I have to remind you again. Yeah. Argument. Fuck you, Jamie, you bitch. I don't love you either. I don't remember that. Right. Okay, but we're, we're going back to the past, right? We're going back to the past again? Instead of just going forward? You asked me to remind you. I did. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I guarantee on my end, we can make it. Nope, don't believe you. Have some faith, honey. Have some faith. They could really do us both a lot of good. Because it could do us both a lot of good, and they could be very much worth it. You have continuously let me down. I'm not going to let you down this time. But you gotta believe right. in me a little bit. You gotta believe in me a little bit. 
It helps me when you I believe, in, believe me. in you. That that doesn't help. Too bad. You gotta start think you gotta start thinking positive. You're constantly looking at the right. negative and you need you need to start looking at the positive things. I'll look at whatever I want. <laughs> you can, but when you look at negative things, things in negative light, it doesn't that doesn't help in it at all. When you're positive about positive. things, when you be positive, that's what helps. That's why I keep saying that we both need to stop going back to the past. That's nothing but negative shit that right happened with us in the past. Wrong. Sorry, say that again. Right being realistic is wrong. No, being realistic, being realistic is not wrong. But to continuously harp on it, then I'm good. To continuously harp on it, I'm not. That's wrong. Yes, you do. If if you're not, then burn that list. You are the one harping right now. I'm just saying, if if, if you're not harping on it, then burn the list. There is no list. You actually think I have it written down, don't you? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder the way you named shit off. <laughs> That's a yes. I said sometimes I wonder the way you named shit off, so you can take that the way you want to. I can actually remember things. Well, good. Do you remember that I love you? No. Now, why would you not remember the most important thing? Mutual breakup a few days ago. Yeah, mutual breakup that we neither one of us should have ever agreed to that. Well, we did. We did, but. That doesn't mean that has to last. We can do this and we can do it right. Doesn't mean it doesn't either. We can do this and we can do it right. But we've got to stop mentioning the past to each other. That doesn't help. It hurts us because it just starts arguments. Is this what the rest of the conversation is going to be? What? What, that I want us to get back together? Jamie, if I didn't believe in us, I wouldn't be fighting so hard to get us back together. That keeps us blind, Lorne. You want your behavior to disappear, nothing else. Keeps us blind? What do you mean it keeps us blind? to your repeated patterns of BS. Okay, we both have repeated patterns of BS. Yes, I have more than you. There it is again. There what is again? That I, that I stated a fact? You do it too. Yes. 
I did say you do it too. I do. I do it more than you do. And I own up to it. That fact I don't that you don't see you are a major issue here is scary. Oh God. Jimmy, what is so scary? Your jealousy and security are suffocating. Okay. Number one, my insecurity. You know where it comes from. I've been outright honest with you about it. Doesn't matter. Well, you know where it comes from, and I know I need to work on it. At least now I've got somebody I can talk to. Does that change what happened? Jimmy, it doesn't change what happened, but you're pinpointing the stuff that I, I uh, that care. I do. You are pinpointing the stuff that I do, and you don't look at the stuff that you That's do. That's on you. Even after I name it, you still don't look at it. You just keep continuously telling me that it's on me. Well, yeah, it's on me. It's on my mind. It's on my mind when you do stuff like that. I know for a fact that we can make it. But we have to take each other into consideration. It's not it's not always the thing it's it's on you. It's on both of us. This is ridiculous. I'm pointing things out oh. and all you can do is make excuses. Blame me and say what about you? Instead of actually address what you do. I'm not making excuses. I do stuff wrong okay. and I know it. I do stuff wrong, and I know it. I'm addressing that I've I've done stuff wrong. I'm addressing that I have insecurities and jealousies, you and I, that I need to fix. Two hours today. Huh? You called me fake for two hours today. Uh. When you say stuff like you know where that comes from, that's an excuse. Don't hold that against me, Jamie. It's not my fault. You know where that comes from. It's an excuse, Jamie. Fine. I'm going to tell you, it's an, it is an excuse. And I shouldn't bring it into our relationship. Welcome to the party. But, but there's a but here, Jamie. You shouldn't have a problem talking to my probation officer. There always is. There is. Because you shouldn't have a problem talking to my probation officer. I don't have to. Why not? You don't have you don't have to, but that just means it's not gonna Why look very bright I for me and you. It just means that it doesn't look very bright Why for me. I have like, a problem? Did you have a problem talking to her? Why shouldn't I have a problem? If, if you actually want to give us a, a good shot, you know, 
What's wrong with it, with showing that you're real with me? Calling me fake again. Jamie, I'm, I'm not calling you fake. I'm telling you that's when... Uh, this is not hard to understand. You're just trying to bring it back on me, saying that I'm saying you're fake. When I've told you before that I believe in you, I told you that today. Remember but this. don't appreciate. I don't appreciate it. That was today. I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate it when you when you try to bring things back on Remember me. This. When I'm Enjoy telling. Fucking other guys. That was today. You're just trying to go back on the past shit. You're doing it all over again. Oh, today is interrupting, the past. Interrupting me just to, to make sure that you're heard and me and I'm not. Oh, today is the past. Jamie, stop trying to be so fucking difficult. Is today the past? Earlier today, yes, that is that is the past. Oh, okay, well then. You are a selfish piece of shit. <laughs> I know I can't say anything because now it's the past, right? Yeah. <laughs> Smart ass. When you does the have past begin exactly? When does the past begin exactly? Holy crap, Jamie! Why are you why are you being so fucking difficult? It, it doesn't make sense. So you get to say whatever you want and it's immediately erased. Jamie, what do you want me to do? Huh? That's what you'll I'm not doing. I'm not doing a fucking thing right in your eyes. You can't list off one fucking thing that I've done that I've done right. You can only list off things I've done wrong. And And you don't want to be real with me. You've got the excuse, I'm not on probation. Well, I am on fucking probation. It's your fault, not mine. But, so what? It's no kidding, it's my fault. It's obviously, it's my fault. I'm on probation, not you. Right, exactly. But if, but if you want to be with me, you know, things have to be fucking done. Who Steps have I to do? be taken. Huh? Who says I do? I don't know if you do or not yet. You keep pulling this bullshit stunts that you're pulling, and it, it's becoming pretty unattractive. You seem to have a problem with me well, and you I being real with each other. Multiple times the past two days, not to mention the past the months. No, you got to repeat yourself because I was talking when you pressed the button. No, I haven't. I told you multiple times the past two days, not to mention the past few months. Uh, you know, if you want to be a fucking smartass, I'll just hang up. You know, saying shit like that is going to piss me off. Well, you are psychotic. How am I psychotic, Jamie? Because I want us to be real. I want my insecurity to go away. How can you not understand that? You refuse to hear me. Oh, I hear you, Jamie. I hear you loud and clear. You don't like my insecurities. I'm, I'm telling you what I need to make my insecurity go away. 
I've been telling that to you. For the last two months, three, four months, five months, six months, for a long fucking time, I've been telling you. Did you hear when I said we should be friends? Yeah, you heard my response to that, too. So who isn't listening here, me or you? <laughs> I get a song for you. Maybe this will explain it to you. You say you want to be friends. That's a newly sharpened blade. That's a dagger to the heart. You say you want to be friends. That's a newly sharpened blade. That's a dagger to the heart. From the promises we made. That's a chapter full of pain. A season full of rain. A dark and stormy night. It's been all along. Friends get scattered by the wind, tossed upon the waves, lost for years on end. Friends slowly drift apart, they give away their heart, maybe call you now and then. But you want to be just friends. What happened? Did you lose service? Oh, maybe I did. I didn't think that I did. I thought it was you that hung up. But I called you back. No. You didn't answer. I called you back and you didn't answer. I, didn't I called you back. No, oh. well, I called you back a second time. And... Actually, maybe that was what the first did you time. Say? I didn't, I said this. You say you want to be friends. That's a newly sharpened blade. That's a dagger to the heart from the promises we made. That's a chapter full of pain, a season full of rain, a dark and stormy night spent all alone. Friends get scattered by the wind. Tossed upon the waves, lost for years on end. <clears throat> Friends slowly drift apart. They give away their heart. Maybe call you now and then. But you want to be just friends. You say you love me very much, <clears throat> and you'll always hold me dear. Those are the sweetest words I never want to hear. What's a love without desire, a flame without a fire? can warm me late at night when I need you close. Friends get scattered by the wind, tossed upon the waves, 
lost for years on this. Friends depart. They give away their hearts. Maybe call you now when then. Darling, can't you see? This is killing me. We could never be just friends. You understand now? Okay, I'm back. Seriously, you didn't hear a word that I sang to you. Seriously? Hold on, I'll tell you what I heard. Hey, what's up? You want me to do what? Yeah, fine. But can you just show? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, can't hear ya, Lauren, but I'm told to say that she heard this. <laughs> can I go now? Is that it? Okay, and uh, and also uh, <laughs> okay, I gotta go now. I'm busy. I will. The robot can't do that, Lord. Was you masturbating when I was singing? Excuse me. Oh, what are those? What do you want me to say, Jamie? What the hell is uh 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 uh? uh? That's what you sound like. Oh, well, serious? That that's what my singing sounds like? Yes. So you don't like my singing, huh? You don't like my singing, huh? I think you are a great karaoke singer. Jesus. What? Did you lose signal? Yeah, I did. When I clicked the button. Okay. What? I can't hardly even hear you. What? I can't hardly even hear you. What? Still can't hear you. Hello. Hello. I'm still I can't hear you as loud as I could before. Hello. <clears throat> My volume's all the way up Nothing too. Has changed. Huh? Nothing has changed. Jamie. Just call me back. Hello. Still not as loud as you were before. <clears throat> Hold on. It's in your end then. All right, now I hear you. So you lost. 
Let's see. Yeah, when I click the button, if you, if you like to piss me off. Why did you do that? Because you like to piss me off. You insulted me. How? Jamie, I sang you a song for a reason. And what you heard I out of that song was, uh, 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 uh. You heard, uh, 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 uh. That's what you said you heard. Yeah. Out of that whole song. Okay, start it over. Why? You won't hear it. You, you go off and do something and put your phone down so you don't even hear it. No, no, no. There were words behind that song that I was singing that song for a reason. Somehow you don't want to seem to want to take a serious oh, one. there's words behind it. Holy fuck. Why are there not words in front? There's meaning to the words, Jamie. I really just know it all for you. Yeah, I know you're joking. It's just a long I time thought you were just singing a song to break the tension. No, dude, folks. Tell me why you picked that song then. If I sing it this time, are you not going to set your phone down? Yes. Are you actually, are you actually going to listen to it? Possibly. I mean, it's smart ass, Jamie. There's a reason I'm singing the song. Joke. You'd get it if we were in person. No, there's only one person that can solve that problem. Say you want to be friends. Can I make a request? What? Sing Shania. Huh? Sing Shania. Sing Shania? Yeah. This is the song I want to sing. First, before I sing anything else, I'm singing it for a reason. Wait, hold on. Oh, crap. Yeah. No, Jamie. <sighs> Lauren, she says she wants you to sing her this song. Oh, 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 She wants you to sing that one. I don't know that one. Dude, this is so stupid. I'm leaving. I know. Okay, go ahead, Dunderhead. Are you sure you're going to listen, not see your phone down? Yes. Listen to the words of the song. I'll try. Say you want to be friends. That's a newly sharpened blade. That's a dagger to the heart from the promises we made. 
That's a chapter full of pain, a season full of rain, a dark and stormy night. It's been all alone. Friends get scattered by the wind, tossed upon the waves, lost for years on end. Friends. Slowly drift apart, they give away their heart, maybe call you now and then. But you want to be just friends. You say you love me very much, and you'll always hold me. Those are the sweetest words I never want to hear. What's a love without desire? A flame without a fire can't warm me late at night when I need you close. Friends, Get scattered by the wind, tossed upon the waves, lost for years on. What? Like Tarzan Boy. Doesn't matter, Jamie. I, I sing you I was singing you that song for a reason. You didn't want to hear it. Lord. You said you wanted to interrupt me with some other fucking song. Lord. What? I have no idea who that was. Do you like that song? No, I don't even know what. Now that's what I call music seven. Yeah, well, obviously you didn't want to hear the song that I was singing to you. I was had, had meaning behind my book, why I was singing it to you. Sorry I got distracted. I know. My words didn't mean anything. I didn't take my meds today. Oh, well, you need to. Start over. Why didn't, why didn't, well, I'm not going to start over now. I sang part of it to you on your voicemail, so you'll hear it there. Okay, start when you left off. No, I was only starting in the middle of a song. Why didn't you take your meds? It sounded like a song about buying cutlery. Oh, that's because you're not listening. Why didn't you take your meds? 
You were buying daggers or something. If you would listen to the song, you would have understood it. What does it mean and why did you pick it if you refuse to sing it to me? I didn't refuse to sing it to you. You refused to listen. After you told me that you would. If I try to sing it again, are you gonna listen? I got a little bored, sorry. Why can't you sing songs I like? Well, because you really need to listen to the words in this song, Jamie. Lauren, listen to the words of this song. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need a song to tell me whatever you want to say? Because it explains it to you. And you can't. <clears throat> Try, but it's easier to say in the song. Did you hear the words in the song MJ sang? Yeah, she got the best of me? You trying to tell me that you got the best of me? What? I said, are you trying to tell me that you got the best of me? If this is the best of you, then you weren't much to write home about. Well... If you would have paid attention, it would have been better. Yeah, well. If you would have paid attention, it could be better. If you paid attention at all, it would be a wonderful change. Well... Well, I'm paying attention. And... Just because I can't repeat everything that you say word for word doesn't mean I'm not paying attention. You can't. You can't even state the point of what I'm saying. <clears throat> Jamie, loving someone is, you take the good with the bad. Both strong enough, it can only get better. And I don't love you. What's your point? Well, well there you go. Have a good night. What? What's the point in playing that? There was meaning behind it. No. Yeah. Facts of life. You want it all to be about you. It can't be all about you, Jamie. You said I'll you take the good and take the bad. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, I take the good and I take the bad. I love you, so, you know, there's, there's been some bad that I've had to take that I don't like. But I never stop loving you. I have another song with meaning. Can I play it?
Go ahead. Did you lose signal? If you listen to your voicemail, you'll get the answer to your song. I now got distracted. Oh, okay. So good night then. Whatever. We can never be just friends. I'll let you sleep on it. Night. You need to sleep on it. I believe in us and want it to be real. Your being scared to be real could kill us. Or maybe I'm missing something, and maybe you want to be friends because you have an interest in someone else. It sucks that now I have to take that into consideration. By the way, I already told Stacy about you having to use a robot voice for now, so there should be no fear for that being a reason to not talk to her. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the Lone World Order.